Hey, what up everybody from under the house? Uh, you know what I was thinking about? What were you thinking about, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> How to kill the goldfish. It's it's easy, bro. It, bro. You ever seen a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> but how, are they really dead, though? Probably, if bro. If you flush it down the toilet, are they really dead? And maybe they're having mm. a blast. Maybe it's like a water slide or something. And, mm, no, they're probably dead. I don't know. I how would so. it die? You yeah, can't drown. Yeah, yeah you, you can't never drown. know. The oh, only way to kill it is to, like... Well, you gotta stomp it, got, it. Unless it got into some water that's tainted. Can you choke a goldfish? Electricity. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, you can choke anything. Just choke a goldfish You out. can choke anything. Well, fuck you, goldfish. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Anyway, we have Mike back again. I'm back. Welcome back, Mike. Yeah. Back in black. Yeah, I guess. What is that, ACDC? Yeah. Dude, that was a guess. Gotta rock the ACDC, I don't know dude. that stuff. What? I'm not good at it. Mike is more like classical music. Pretty baroque. much. You like Beethoven? Mm, he's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> What kind of music do you like to listen to? Man, you know, I like everything, you know? <laughs> um, like, if you're just by yourself in the car, putting on some music, what do man, you put on most of the time? Oh, dude. I don't want to admit this right now. Everybody's going to be hearing this, and then... Okay, fuck it. Here we it's go. It's only a couple hundred thousand people. Oh, shit. No, man, fuck it. Let's do this. Uh, no, it depends. I have... Okay. To be honest with you, I go through these like weird stages of like really liking something and then really hating something else that I used to like, mm-hmm. and then I go back to what I used to like and really hate what I switched to. Mm-hmm. Oh man, this is gonna be terrible and it's gonna haunt me. But um, I love Blink One Eighty Two. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Why is that dude. gonna haunt you? Oh, I don't know. It's very like it's one of those bands that people are like, you like fucking Blink One Eighty Two. Dude, fuck Blink One Eighty Two is one of my favorite bands. If you say you don't like Blink One Eighty Two, fuck you. Fuck out That's of That's like one of my constants, and I don't listen to them all the time. Only like, with Tom. Yeah, no, Tom is Matt. He's Matt fucking Skiba awesome. Can though. fuck off. <laughs> Straight up, Who's Alkaline that? Trio is fine. He's the guy who took over for Tom. Oh, see, and I don't even know. I don't know him like that. Like the new one. He's from. Uh, God damn it! I just said the name of his fucking band. Alkaline Battery. Alkaline Trio. Alkaline you can go Battery. back to Alkaline Trio. That's a fine <laughs> band. Be yourself. See, I, I don't Get even the know. Fuck out of Blue I Blue probably Blue That's Tom's spot. I probably heard some stuff like that, but no, I listen to, like stuff like that sometimes, and it just brings me back, and it makes me feel good. I don't know, you know, and that's the beauty of music. It makes you feel certain things, and oh, sometimes yeah. it's a time it, machine. Yeah, it just makes me feel good about like like how I used to feel when I was a little kid and stuff. And then I don't know, man. Sometimes you get into like those moods where you're like in traffic and you're like Slipknot or something yeah. like that. Oh yeah. And then there's other times where like I don't know, I like the Roots and like Fuck stuff yeah. like that. And then depending Black on bomb. Yeah, dude, and then depending on how I'm feeling, sometimes it's like atmosphere or something, but (sighs) you can get burnt out on that shit, honestly. I think every music has its place, right? So, like, there's there's specific music for every event, I guess, or every moment. For sure. You know? It makes you feel a certain way, like, I don't know. That's why I think some of the movies that are, like, really great, a lot of that has to do with like the music in it and people look past it and it's like, dude, that movie's so good. And it's like, that movie kind of sucked, but the soundtrack for it was really good. The soundtrack yeah. can make like, a movie. For make sure. It's like, dude, like I was there. Like that song just makes you feel like you're in a casino about to rob some fucking guy or right. something, you know, right. like, oh, like Elvis or something, you know, like Sweet. with the Ocean's Eleven, you're like, I fucking feel like I'm here. You know, it's just like <laughs> a different level. But I don't know, just bounce around, man, between all kinds of stuff. Um, with like uh, things like atmosphere and stuff like that, it's like super dope. But it can get old, you know. Like, oh yeah. Sometimes you just want to listen to shit that sounds like cool, you right. know, and you don't want to be preached to or whatever. But then there's like old school hip hop stuff. Nothing, you know, you can't go wrong with like Tubac and stuff like that. Right. But that's Absolutely. I feel like it's so timeless. good that, shit is timeless. that everybody likes it that it becomes like more of a generic statement. Like, what do you like? Oh, I like Tupac and Biggie. Duh. It's like who the fuck doesn't? Right. I, right. Duh. And if you hate on them, you're just hating on them for like attention or something yeah, because they're just be, good. Trying to be a fucking edge lord. Yeah, I mean, or or an op op. What is it? You're being oppositional, which is is it like a transsexual? No, like you're opposite. Whatever you're gonna say, I'm opposite of whatever you're gonna say. No, I get it. 
You for sure. I mean? Some people are fucking just wired to do that yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. yeah. That's just what they're designed It's just a gift, do. man. Like, some people are really good at art. Some people are really good at other shit, like skateboarding. Like, Nija is just like a prodigy. And I don't Dude. think he even has to try that hard, and it's unfair, and I he, fucking hate it. It doesn't look like he tries <laughs> at all. He looks like a fucking robot engineered to do skateboarding. It's effortless. Who? But he does Nigel? get served, though. Nija Houston? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He gets served, though. Like, some of them slams, you're like, fuck. You take the money or do you take the slam? I'm a like, lot of people say yeah. he has no style. Oh, he, hell, dude. He seems like so those, robotic. Those he makes it look so easy. He has no style. You fuck know? they're talking about. That dude's gnarly. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. He does wild shit. Yeah, no. Consistently. I, mean, I wouldn't be hating on it, dude. If you if you had those skills or I had those skills, and nobody, dude, you wouldn't give a fuck See, what people I thought. haven't true, seen but I do. anything that he's done recently. I've only seen... Back when he was a kid, bro, you gotta use your element. Instagram, dude. Yeah. That fool posts like daily, but he's I'm jealous of him, dude. Like, as much as you hate on him, like, I could see how people are like, Oh, that dude's kind of like jockey, or like mm-hmm. that dude's like kind of whatever. That dude's living the life you want, you oh, know yeah. what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, if you absolutely. had that kind of money, you'd be driving exotic cars dude, on dude, a racetrack all the on fucking, fucking time, dirt bike, or on a dirt bike, fucking yeah, Beverly Hills, and for shit. sure. Or living in fucking like Calabasas and yeah. fucking looking over the ocean and shit with the sun falling down and friends over your house and fucking. I do see the argument <gasps> to no style though, because you see other other dudes and they just put some stank on like. Well, no, do, there's some people that have like mad good style, and that's on anything, you know what I mean? Sometimes you see people and they're like really good at something and you're like fuck but that looks so ugly and then there's like i don't know i think when nigel is like he's uh so good at it that i don't know that's kind of a style style. you know what i mean like and there's kids i'm who wouldn't want to do that man like i'll look like that but i get what you're saying like there's some dudes that are like just like wow that looks fucking good you know what i mean yeah and i think maybe we just don't like his style you know what i mean like I don't know, like Monster Hat and fucking Red Bull. Fuck, I don't know. You no, know what I mean? Fuck with Nigel. He's awesome. Yeah, no, he's he he's does awesome. He's great shit. And he has since he was a little fucking boy when he had them long ass. See, and I and think shit. about that kind of stuff, man. Like, um, like with kids, you know, I have a kid, you have a kid, or kids. And, uh, like, do you get them into it young? And, like, what do you do? Because how do you find the thing that they're actually naturally good at? I don't know. That's because there's that's so many thing. things. And every kid is and what good if, at that one thing. And what if but they're how into you locate what that is? What if they're um, into something weird? Trial and error. I think. I think it's all trial and error. For sure. I I wouldn't have found music if it weren't for my dad. But you do you know. think that maybe influenced your maybe your predisposition? Your past. disposition. It it made me it made me realize. Oh shit! Okay, I'm a, I'm a little little bit better at this than most kids but think about it like jordan was saying is like okay so you have a kid and you're like for me i'm like wondering what the kid's gonna be good at and you kind of just like go with what they're interested in but like i think you hit the jackpot or the gold mine when you're like this kid really likes this and he's fucking good at it you know what i mean like i was like always interested in a lot of shit and i sucked at all of them you know so my dad was like fuck it dude like whatever do whatever you want you know and (laughs) that worked out awesome but i don't know man like do you think that maybe being influenced by music because your dad was doing it that maybe you spent a lot of time doing that and you might have ignored something else that you might have been good at even though it wasn't like as fun oh yeah no of course i think because i spent so much time working on music i didn't learn other things like maybe working on cars I've always wanted to learn how to work on a car, yeah. but I just never had the time because I'm fucking working on music. Yeah, you for know sure. What I, mean? um, I don't know, man. Or I think maybe sports or something like that. You know? Yeah, it's more about it's more than interest, though. You got to be good at it. Yeah, and I don't fucking know. I mean, that's a question when I see the big guy. If there is a big guy, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna be like, yo, what the fuck was I supposed to do? Because I didn't find it. You know, I I I never figured it out. See, that that's that is one cool thing about, at least personally for me, is that I can say I've found what I. It It was that porn interview. 
Yes. He's all, this is it for me, dude. I saw that stripper pole. I quit my fucking This guy had a fucking TV over his pool, I quit my pool, job. Bro. I fucking Yo, started wouldn't that be porn. lit, though? I wish dude, I had a, yeah. a pool with a TV in the back. Dude, we did, got, uh, we did, guys. We did uh, work for a guy that owned his own landscaping company, and we went over to his house, and it didn't look that tight. But we went in the back, and he had a swim-up bar, like Cancun style in Yo. his backyard, with a big-ass plasma TV that oh. came out of this like sculpture thing. And uh, little little baby like wine room and stuff, and I'm like, fuck, no, dude. dude had his priorities. I guess, and he we knew talked what he to fucking him. wanted. He was like, he's like, dude, I started off with a shovel and a rake, and I'm like, oh, he did it. Yeah, it was his company, Damn. and then he wound up selling it, and I think he lost most of it in a divorce or something. But he was bawling at a certain point, you know. Yeah, that's a fucking goal. Even if I was good at landscaping, dude, fuck, just let me know. Yeah, you know, just tell me. I just want to be good at something tell sick me. though. You know, like. Fucking lotto. Or like <laughs> Powerball. Let me get that lucky for life. <laughs> oh, get a thousand dollars a day for the rest of my Could life. Could you imagine what you would be doing if you had a thousand dollars a day for the rest of your life? What would you do? Like maybe uh, like the first like couple days would be like I just would, crazy, but I would build a, a giant music studio. Uh see you're thinking practical, bro. I'm thinking like you're just like Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, dude, straight up. Are you kidding me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That like, would bro. be one of my first purchases. Not a Ferrari, but I'd be at that Porsche dealership. Yeah, and tell yeah. me right now, you're going to install a GT3. Yo, I'm getting a GT3. Yeah, I'd get, a, I'd get a fucking a nice Harley. Um, I would dress homeless, and I would go honestly, and buy dumb shit, like a fucking honestly, horse. Honestly, I would probably <laughs> live like... <laughs> Rich people got horses, bro. <laughs> I want people to fucking know. You just walk up like a homeless dude with a bunch of cash in a backpack. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking How much for that up. horse? Where the fuck is Mike? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga coming. He's going to be here in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> pull up with a fucking one of them cowboy helmets with a beer dispenser on it. Oh, and, dude, come on, man. You, would you work? No. Nobody no. Would. See, I would but, work on whatever I felt like working on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would want to keep myself occupied in some way. I would, I would build stuff. I would just, like, build. A lot build. of it. Oh, yeah. I'd be beating it. I'd be beating <laughs> A it. lot of it. I'm going to the shed. Yeah. <laughs> Dad's Gucci. Gucci shed. Gucci I like shed. what Chris's saying, though. Build stuff. Yeah. I would just build, like, sheds. <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking beat off sheds. <laughs> I'm, gonna market, I'm gonna market this motherfucker. Dude, the beat off Check shed. out my website. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go build to the shed. Tough. Dude, I can, damn, I'm fucking out shed. of myself. That's I'm Ford. trying to convince your sister to let me build a shed in the backyard. Now she's gonna just think I'm gonna go out there and beat off. Yeah, you probably are though. Let's be honest. Well, I do want to. I want to make it like a chill shed? spot though. I want to like Man run cave. AC to it. I run a. I want. Uh, electric to it so I can put a TV in there. Yeah, no. Dude, that's the dream, bro. I want that. Have you seen those ins- Instagram posts where people are building, like, man caves out of, like, cardboard boxes and stuff? What? And they have, like, no. legit ones. Like, um... Like a... Like, bar Like a po- bum house? No, dude. It's like, it's, like, in a house. It's, like, in a basement or something. Like, people have way too much time. But, like, this dude walks up. He knocks on the door. The guy slides open, like, a little, like, spy... The whole thing, like a castle, and then a drawbridge falls down. It's all made out of cardboard. And he goes in there, and it's like smoke and a dragon, like you know oh. what I mean, a smoke machine, and it's got Christmas lights and a TV and a PlayStation and shit. Like that's what the shed would be like. Yeah, dude. And then there, I don't know why, but Sammy always thinks that like old guys have uh, like Playboy calendars in their car or in a shed or something. That's- and I mean, I would have It's not not it true. All, it all makes sense now. My old guitarist, Bobby, his dad is like a big biker Harley dude. Mm-hmm. And in their garage, there were like at least four different calendars from previous years. For with sure. Bitches. And then they always like save the one that they like. They're like, oh, that's fucking. They leave it up. Claudia, whatever, from 1974. Yeah. Like that It's lady forever made 1970. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. With a bush like Damn that. <laughs> It's fucking 3D Bob, yes. coming at you. Yeah. I don't know. Old people are cool. Chris oh, yeah. wants to Old buy people. a Harley. Dude, you do? I, I want a Harley so fucking bad. Ah, oh, man. I mean, okay, I'm not, I shouldn't say a Harley. A cruiser. Not specifically a Harley. He's going to have a bike that makes noises. I like, I've been looking at a Honda, Honda Shadow. 
Oh no, those are cool. I guess. I mean, I don't really know too much about motorcycles, but I know that those like have a pretty good reputation. I just kind of had a weird thought, and it's totally unrelated to anything we were it. talking about. Fucking, uh, how would you steal a giraffe? How would I steal? Yeah, one? from like the zoo. If you were to like, if you were like, you why know, the fuck would I steal a giraffe? If you're just fixing, if I was stealing an animal from the fix, zoo, that's just that'd be say, the last animal. Let's I stole. just say you're fixing to steal a giraffe from the zoo. How you load up on tranks? Load up on tranks. And then I chop it up into little pieces and carry it in duffel bags. I don't know, man. They seem pretty nice. Docile. Is that a word? Yeah. Okay. Calm, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you could probably put a leash on it and just fucking walk it, dude, honestly. They don't seem that gnarly. You yeah. saddle up and ride it out of there. Well, people pet them and stuff, don't they? I don't. You can oh, feed yeah, them no. at the Shia uh, Mountains. Uh, you yeah, feed them lettuce. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't never been there. Oh, I, dude, I've it's super there. dope. I it's like the there. best zoo I've ever been to. It was pretty cool. Ooh, did they lick you? Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, they're, they, you're, on this, like, you're on this bridge. So I'm <laughs> taking my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> their, head, their heads basically are like w- eye level with you. I think, nice? I, got some, I think I got some photos I, of it. I don't, I, don't remember, I don't think... Dude, we, they're nice. We didn't pet them because they weren't out... Dude, right you can pet him. I don't remember show. what the situation was, but we didn't pet him. I just remember we didn't pet him, but I know that they were there. Dude, you can pet him straight I, up. Uh, it was freaking me out because I don't fucking, I don't really like animals that much. I got a <laughs> dog and I barely like her. Yeah. But you like, don't like animals? Fuck no. They stink. They're mean. Like, dude, here's the thing is like willy nilly, them motherfuckers gonna bite you. And I don't care what it is. It could be a horse. It could be. Even a fish, bro. Have you seen those videos where like a fit, like the, what's they call like it? The beta? What are they call it? No. Noodling. Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck. Noodling is fucking cool. That. No. I'd do that. No. Hell Puss. no. Oh, psh. Psh. Oh, psh. Uh-uh. What is noodling? It's when you fucking, you're standing in a body of water and you stick your fucking whole arm down a hole. In the bottom of the to fucking get body this water. Big ass fish and a to big bite ass you. fish bites onto your wrist and you pull that motherfucker out the hole. Oh, fuck that. And then you eat it. Bro, fuck you that. gotta see the videos. It's fucking not. You wouldn't do that and either? Not some they don't have dudes, teeth. Dude, some of these. I don't dudes, give a shit. First of all, you gotta <laughs> like water. Second of all, it's most of the time it's in a river. It's not like a calm place. Third of all, this fucking fish is big enough to swallow your arm to yeah, your arm. big, bro. They're normally fuck pretty that. damn. And big. and I swear Catfish. to God, there was a dude that went underwater, and he didn't come up for, like, four minutes, bro. I was like, I can't hold my fucking breath for, like, 20 seconds, bro. <laughs> like, have you, I mean, can you? Yeah. We could try. Oh, yeah. Bro. We that, could, would be, that would be a boring podcast if we all I was just going to say, I was just going to say, let's see who does it the longest. <laughs> oh, yeah. <gasps> dude, I can't, no, I can't I hold my breath for shit. <laughs> I have asthma. Mexicans aren't built that way, bro. We stay above the water. You guys got great cardio, though. Yeah, dude. We don't quit, but <laughs> that ain't, I mean, we drown, bro. <laughs> no, you don't. Fuck yeah, we do. That's not true. Name one Mexican surfer, sailor, or fucking expeditioner thing. I'm not a big surf, sailor, That's expedition exactly what I'm follower. Saying. Oh, look, mira. Oh, sorry. I went ethnic on you. <laughs> but like this is at that zoo could you hop over that fence and ride dude i wouldn't fuck with those things. you wouldn't ride a giraffe if you had the no. chance Mm-mm. i wouldn't ride a fucking elephant i wouldn't t- dude animals bro they're I you know but animals. i've been bit by a lot of animals i've been bit by a few like how many uh i've been bit by probably a, close to 10 what different kind animals? I've been bitten by a fucking turkey, a duck, what, a goose. I I literally hate fowl. See, I'm telling I you, hate those kind of. What animals. does that mean? Fowl? Like fowl. The only is fowl the te- I know is, is that- basketball and bowling. No, fowl <laughs> is like birds like that. Oh, okay. okay. So fucking geese, so turkeys, ducks. Term, I literally hate them. Those are the only animals that I fucking. Well, hate. dude, birds have no souls. First of all, because you fucking look at them, their eyes birds are black. Birds of prey are cool, gnarly. and like little regular birds are cool. But fuck geese, duck, and turkeys. Nah, I do any, not like any them. any bird. You can't trust. I've heard geese are mean. Geese are fucking. That's what mean. I, Some people have geese as like instead of guard dogs, they have geese. Well, that makes sense. They will attack you. Yeah, but I would and they'll do it fuck loudly. a geese up. That's like, kind of what, what you that's think. Kind of what I'm thinking. Yo, that's what you think. 
until they they literally they bro. bombard you. Yeah, you don't know bro, what to do. I'm because not scared it of wings. So fast. If you have your wits about you, you're gonna fucking piece up a stupid geese you're just like, or yeah, goose, bring it whatever. Off, Yo. And, like, and I'm gonna wring its neck and my then I'm dad, gonna fucking eat it. My dad got attacked and by a goose once at a golf like course. That. The the goose thought that the golf balls were her babies. were her babies, but they don't lay eggs, do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, dog. See, I don't know animals like that. I don't know if they lay eggs or he or like they just come out. Yeah, like birds that. lay birds. eggs. Lay eggs. Um, eggs like are chickens? weird, though, right? Eggs are cool. Am I wrong? You come from an egg. Imagine if humans yeah, came but from I don't like egg. to think about that because my dad always tells me he's like, oh, you came from my nuts, which is not actually true. See, but is it though? I mean, I don't know how that shit works, man. I just fucking. It's mostly pray. the egg. Without the <laughs> egg, the sperm fertilizes nothing. Yeah, but you. I don't Without know, the man. sperm, the egg is unfertilized. Yeah, I'm not gonna so, get I mean, into this. I heard the whole chicken and the egg thing. And what do you think came first, dude? Nothing came first, bro. <laughs> the, I don't know. The Who the fuck knows? The egg? It was the egg. No, it wasn't. Why? How? How is a dude, fucking random egg gonna evolution, <laughs> bitch? <laughs> man, evolution. I don't know because because the chicken. Was created through evolution. All right, motherfuckers. So whoever laid the chicken was not a Who chicken. Who laid the chicken? Whoever laid the chicken egg was not a chicken themselves. What if it was a What if evolved. it was a dude? Like just some dude named no. Steve. Actually, the closest uh, thing <laughs> we have to dinosaurs these is days is a chicken. Are not chickens, birds. but birds. Yeah, it's not the crocodile. Well, or no. The if you or... watch them, dude, they walk like a fucking raptor and shit. Yeah, and I just son. watch. I, I love thought, Jurassic Park. It's I like thought my that movie. a crocodile, not a crocodile, an alligator, was the closest thing to yo. I don't know, man. Birds. Why? Birds? You know who told me that? You know who Steve told me that? Irwin. Uh, the bitch at the Natural History Museum. See who what? works in the dinosaur Debbie? exhibit. Debbie don't know no, shit. Debbie. Margaret. <laughs> oh, that's Debbie even don't the know wor- that's even the worst. Yo, I love that place. <laughs> we got a membership to that. Oh, the museum? Hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. That's another place you feel weird getting into though. Why do you think why? Oh man, because you some of these dude, do you not get that vibe though, the VIPs though? You know, like you go into the lines and they're like your generic like uh bottom feeder and you're like, Oh, are you a VIP? And you're like Fucking what's Fuck. that? Yo, I'm a we're fucking at the VIP because mu- I'm a member. We're at the music exactly. So member, you're the fucking guy walking past me and my Yo. homely ass family Yo. while we're standing in a fucking it's three cheap. hour line for a year membership. <laughs> it's cheap. And you guys are like, oh, we're off to see the mummies. <laughs> That's right, bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. It's cheap yeah. for a year membership, son. And then I wonder it's the whole time, deal. like, how much more am I paying? You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot. Uh, is it? Oh, dude, uh, see, it pays for itself in like two visits. Oh, like it's, pays for itself. it's like a season pass at Elitch's. Right. Yeah. You like know, the, they say like three times pays for it, you know what I mean? But I will say the last time I went to Elitch's, uh I got fucking mad sick. Like, really? And I From a roller coaster, on a ride or did to, you just go to the bathroom? I used to love Which ride fucked coasters. you up, son? Teacups. Mind bro. eracer, huh? Fuck. It that. was the mind eraser was the last one that we rode. See and that shit fucked that you shit up. Fucked Fucked me. Really? Up. Yeah. Oh, I see, lost a shoe on you, that ride. You know what was the scariest ride though? It was not the mind eraser. It was that fucking one that goes up. It's it's as high as the tower. Tower of Doom. It's the height. No, it's not the tower of doom. It's the, the swing. It's Boomerang. It's the swing. Oh, Fuck I mean, that I never swing. It's, it's a swing. That's or the like, bat wing thing that's like that. It, it's it's I like hate you that know. Ride. So you know. Batwing. So you know the bat wing. It's a giant swing. It go. You get up. And Is that the one that looks like the? Around. Oh. Oh yeah 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 yeah. So yeah. it's like that, but it's as high as the fucking tower of doom, basically. And instead of like, is that like and, they pull you of, up? Yo, you're and, on. No, no, no. Instead of regular gen- chain and, links, and instead of normal, just like gently swinging, you're fucking sideways. Oh, dude, that's like a baby ride. No, bro. yo, you're yeah, high as fuck. Are you tripping? No, fuck dude, that. I fuck around yo, on those. When was the last time you were there? Dude. When was the last time you were there? You're lying, motherfucker. It's so high, God. dude. I grew up there, man. Like, my parents, it, when we were but kids. When was, I, how, it, but your memory might be fucked. When was the nah, last time you were bro. there? I rode on that it, shit. It's a, I will say it's a new ride. It's oh, it's a new? It's a new ride. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about, like, the one that's been there forever. No, 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 no. It's like no. the chain swing that's one. What it thought, that's what I thought. That's what I thought it was when I went there. And dude, was, you guys are talking like, I got to see this. It's you got to see high, you, you man. See y'all tripping. You know what? Man. I, you know what? I don't I, even fuck with the I Tower of Doom. To I be honest, not, bro. Sammy won't do it. 
It does, I don't like it. It's all right. I don't like heights. I don't even like to climb on the roof, son. I had no problem no? with heights. I hate it. I had no problem with heights until I fucking rode that ride. And now I'm like, I fucking hate heights. Dude, I don't even like to get into a tall building. Like taking an elevator up to yeah, the I top heard that. floor of a building. Yeah. I don't like it. Looking out the window makes me fucking really sick. Really? Well, my grandparents lived in New York, uh, and I've been in like a big, tall-ass building that I could feel swaying in the wind. Oh, yeah. No, they do and that. Ever since I felt that, I don't like it. I don't want to be in a building. Man, heights never bothered me, man. I don't know. The it's more so. Heights never bothered me. Anyway. Heights never bothered me, but I'll, I'm claustrophobic <laughs> and I don't like animals. Yeah. Well, why? dude, I got why? ran up on by a Ooh, random what, big what dog do you mean, today. What do you mean by animal? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Well, you did. Oh, I dug in. I'm just kidding. What, a what do you mean okay. by animals? Like dude, all animals are just dude, dog, cats, bums, fucking just, party just, animals. Just, I don't give a just shit, any dude. Like any of them, bro. Dude, they're just willy nilly, dude. I don't know. I don't want to get into it again. We already talked about it, but okay, they're just. I don't know. Like fuck, dude. It's just one of my phobias, dude. Yeah. You can't trust somebody else's dog. Like even Frankie or whatever his name is, Hank. Hank, Frankie. that that <laughs> dog, dude. Blind dogs are the scariest. Oh, yeah. Because they don't fucking know what's yeah. going on. And oh, you're yeah. like, oh, like, I don't and know. It's like, too. it reminds me like something about Mary. You know how like Mary's brother, you can't touch his ears? Yeah. You know, like you don't know that about a blind dog, dude. Like, and that little dog could take your thumb easy. Yeah. That's bro. why yeah. it's good practice just to not run up on a fucking dog and try to touch it. It's good practice not Never to do that. fuck with animals. That's <laughs> you're tripping. The fucking... <laughs> you're just like, I'm just going to nip it in the bud. No, you know you go fuck to the animals. aquarium and at the end you can pet like stingrays and yeah, shit? Yeah, you don't do that. Steve Irwin died, bro. You think you I want to fucking I, touch a stingray? By a giant, and by a giant one. Son. Whatever, a little one could fucking hit me in my vein. Oh my bro, God. Bro, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you think I'm fucking kidding. I grew up watching Steve Irwin like religiously. I love animals, dude. Yeah, I'll, so. I'll fuck with any animal. Like big really? ass snakes, nah, whatever. Uh-uh. I mm-hmm. love animals. Nope. Like nope. I got ran up on by a big ass dog today. Uh, I was at my mom's house. We were trying to pull her car out of the garage and a random dog ran into the garage. So I was trying to get it out. And his back was like as tall as this table, bro. And uh, he got out of one of the neighbor's house and I saw one of the neighbors outside <laughs> Asked where the dog came from, and they took it. But I guess that dog was half wolf. Dude, yeah, no, the, I know. I have a friend that has a dog that's half wolf, and it's a cool dog. Yeah, man. But he's big as fuck. They're huge. And, I, he was only eight months old is what they told dude, me. Dude, yeah. And he was literally, huge. his back was right People here. People don't know. Fucking wolves are fucking huge. They're yeah, not man. a dog. They look like a dog, but they're huge. But, like, so doing... Age back with my dad or whatever. Like, I'd always go to people's houses. It's always a random person. And there's this fucking lady, dude. She's, like, supposed to be there. She wasn't there. So I went up and I rang the doorbell. And she wasn't there. And the fucking dog that was in there was losing his fucking mind. Like, at the window, right by the door. Like, viciously looking dog, you know? What kind of dog was it? I don't know, dude. It was a fucking big enough dog to fucking hurt you. So... I was like, oh, shit, thank God this person's not here. And sometimes they're like, go in the house and I'll be there, like, whatever. And I'm like, "Uh uh-uh, like, fuck that. So anyways, I go into the truck and I'm like, happy, like, she's not there, I'm going to leave. Well, she shows up and she's like, oh, sorry, I'm late, whatever. She lets me into the house, but she doesn't fucking lock the dog up, you know? And I walk in there and that fucking dog was like, like, alpha dog in me dude like he was fucking junkyard dog (laughs) and he was like the lady couldn't hold him dude he was freaking out and so i was like oh my god like i freak uh, like where is the furnace whatever and she was like go downstairs and she was like you could tell she was freaking out like go downstairs like quick you know i fucking hightailed it downstairs and i thought i was cool and she was like i could hear the dog scratching and then i heard the dog just fucking get loose and she was like, oh, no. And the fucking dog starts, like, down the stairs, you know? And I was like, fuck. So I ran, and there's nowhere to go but a closet. So I jumped my ass in a closet, and I closed <laughs> oh my the God. door. Oh, and the dog was fucking, like, sandlotting the fucking door, dude. Like, yeah, he knew. It was the scariest day of my fucking life, and I just... What'd dude, you fucking do? How you get out of there? I was stuck Did in there. Did you kick it in the face? No, dude. I was in the. I was in a closet, bro. Like, I was fucking R. Kelly. I held the door <laughs> closed like it could turn the fucking handle. I was so scared. 
And then finally, she came downstairs and is going crazy, and she got it away. And I was like, she locked it away. And she's like, sorry, you never acts that way. Like they never fucking do. Like yeah, everybody right, thinks son. their dog is fucking nice. I'm like that dog. That was not a question that that dog was a fucking sick. I mean, vicious, to be honest, right. to be honest, what you do is you don't let him alpha you, and you fuck right. you fuck, fuck alpha yes. him. Fuck yes, say that when that if thing you, is if, doing no, what it's doing. I, I agree with Jordan. If, it, you, if dude, you just dogs say, read if, your body language, fuck exactly. That. If they, That's what it if is. They, I was scared. If they realize that you're you're not you're not scared, you're gonna fucking face it, whatever. Because they because they're and, doing and that out of fear. Also, if they're you afraid of you. Also, if you if you have a treat too. You say I'm the alpha. I have a treat. Check this out. You want this? Yeah, my the treat was my fucking drumstick, homie. <laughs> and um, which I don't even remember what I was gonna say, dude. The only thing I ever learned about dogs and if they attack you is jam your thumb in their asshole. You have heard that, especially with pits. I've heard that with pits. <laughs> Any dog, dude. I think I heard that from you, to be honest with you. I think, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I heard that from you a long <laughs> dude, time ago. Take it as facts. Right there, dude. I mean, it makes sense. I heard it somewhere, and I'm If somebody sure. did that to me, I would stop whatever the fuck I dude, was doing. But dude, like, Iggy, you work on humans. I never thought about that. But you got to get through their, their dungarees to be able to <laughs> fucking get there. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? I heard Andrew Schultz on his podcast talking about the other day. Somebody's trying to fight you, and you get naked. Somebody has a stand-up about that. Uh, that's the best. I I feel like if somebody got naked, if I'm trying to fight, if I'm, well, it depends. How mad on, am I? Yeah, exactly. If I'm angry enough. And how horny. If you're naked, <laughs> if you're naked, I, if I'm mad enough, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like You would, if dude. You, if if, if I know balls what, are dragging on dude, your leg if, I was, if it was him? Jason Derulo and that guy was naked but still was carrying a hammer, you would not fucking fight him. If he was carrying a hammer, no. Yeah, no, that no. Oh, like, you mean? Oh, you mean like yeah, a okay. hammer, dude? It's an ongoing joke in our family because Jason Derulo posted like a selfie or something on Instagram, and it was disgusting. He was in some fucking Hanes, and they had to be like the long boy ones because this fool was rocking some side shaft that would fucking make side a shaft. fucking <laughs> a fucking thoroughbred fucking stallion make him fucking blush, and. uh I don't know. It's just an ongoing joke in the family. But somebody like that fucking like gets naked, you're gonna be like, nah, this dude means business. Yeah. You know what I mean? And what happens if you lose? That's true. You know? That's true. And then you got you, you got your ass beat by a naked person. I've yeah, heard in the hip hop yeah. world in different raps that people will fuck their enemies in the ass. What kind of rap are you listening to? You never to? heard of that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You never heard of that? <laughs> Bro Slim Thug? Yo, that shit exists. Dude, no. Nas is... talks about it in that song, Get Down. I don't know, man. I'd probably skip that track. Nah, that song is so good. That's one of his classics. Yeah, no, man, but I never got that. I just listened to the beat, you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's gnarly. What do you guys think about, like, tarant- like tarantulas, like, as a pet? Don't I fuck with them. spiders, no. Do you like spiders Scorpions? I love both. Snakes? No, fuck no. You guys are I've weird. always wanted to have a pet snake. My mom told me no when I was a kid, and now my wife tells me no as an as a fucking adult. But little does she know when he gets his shed, he's gonna have a <laughs> yeah. Yo, I when do he gets his get jack off shed, he's gonna yeah. fucking be out there playing with spiders and snakes and shit. <laughs> She's like, That's right. It, you seen those uh like those posts where they're like my girlfriend thinks that I'm like doing something sketchy, but then it's like shows like the video with the boys and they're doing something fucking completely stupid. Yeah. You'll be in the shed playing with snakes. I'll just be holding the tarantula <laughs> yeah. all happy. Yeah. No, you had a video of a spider on your hand the other day? Yeah, that wasn't my hand though. Oh, that wasn't your hand? No, I stole that. Oh, I thought that was your hand. I wish. That was a cool spider, dude. Fuck that. Dude, spiders are probably the w- top of the list. Yeah, I really? I hate spiders. They're dude, so if you're cute, talking about, dude. If you're talking about They're fucking... They're fuckin- all fuzzy? No. Oh, I dude, love that's spiders. cute, bro. Hell a fucking yeah. spider that has fuzz on it. Have oh, you ever seen yeah. a close-up <laughs> picture of their face? It's fucking spiders got more fuzz than I do. seen a close-up picture of their face? fucking want to hold it and play with it? I don't know. <laughs> Some of spiders I, eat birds and shit, bro. I know. They're fucking awesome. No, I love insects. How does a spider eat a fucking bird? Incest? Wolf spot. Like, what is it called? A wolf spider or some shit? It's a bird spot. It's like a wolf spider. It's literally like. Wolf spiders are fucking gnarly, dude. What's that one giant spider in Australia that does literally eat I think it's like a bird spider. I I think it's like a bird bird tarantula or some shit. I don't know. Don't I love weird animals, though, like insects and reptiles. I love that kind of shit. I think Uh, wolf spiders are a house spider, isn't it? 
Yeah. No, uh, yeah, wolf spiders are gnarly, dude. We once caught a wolf spider and a black widow and put them in the same jar and just let them be overnight. Just see what the fuck would happen because they can't like each other. It's like bloods and crips. Mm. And fucking woke up the next day and the jar was fucking completely sealed, didn't poke holes in it for air or nothing. The black widow was gone. Oh, shit. Like, gone. Like, that fucking wolf spider ate Don't the fuck, fuck around. out of it. Yeah. What was the size difference? They are pretty much the same size. Oh, shit. And wolf spiders can get fucking big, dude. Yeah, they're like, beefy. They're thick. Yeah. Yo, a couple and, like, years I ago in my backyard, I was uh, no, opening wolf, the umbrella. Sorry, unrelated. Wolf spiders are not deadly to humans. They're they, not deadly no, they're to not. humans. They are, they're like an average house spider. But they do, uh, they do carry, like, uh, bacteria... If they bite you, it's not poisonous, but you can get a mad s- infection from them. Uh, like oh when yeah. you get bit yeah, by yeah. a fucking yeah, iguana yeah. or some shit. Yeah. Sorry, or I like a bull snake. I didn't mean uh, to cut yeah. you off. And those things are mean. Bull snakes are mean. We chopped one in half in my backyard a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought yeah. you liked snakes. You should have just caught it. I wasn't there. Oh. Um, Somebody else chopped it. Fuck Got snakes. It. I don't like snakes. I love them. They're so fuck sweet. That. I don't know. A lot of snakes are like dogs. If you keep them full, they ain't going to be mean to you. They won't be aggressive. You just got to keep them full. But certain breeds can get so fucking big that they're mostly unmanageable at a certain point. You Anaconda. Know? Some Almost people try to J-Lo, bro. Some people try to do that shit. I you guys follow that uh, on Instagram, Jay's Prehistoric Pets? No. Huh? Oh, it's so sick. He has a place dude, called like the Reptile animals. Zoo. Oh, it's sick, dude. He oh, has yeah. awesome animals. I oh, yeah. like animals, so I would not. There's like. Uh, what about nature is metal? See, I was just going to talk about that. I followed it for a minute, but that's like that faces of death shit that we it's were talking brutal. about earlier. I can't watch it. There's dude. some gnarly shit on that Instagram page. I can't do but it. But it's cool. Like, that's that's what is happening in nature. You know? right, oh, right, speaking right. of animals, did you guys see uh, Lady Gaga's dogs? Got yeah, her jacked. dog walker got fucking he got shot. Capped. Dude. dude, that guy, I don't know. Does it get paid? You know I, don't what I mean? Know. I guess like, I saw happens? the average salary for a dog walker is like twenty nine thousand dollars a year, and she's offering a five hundred thousand dollar reward for a dog walker. The dog yeah. walker finds the dogs. Yeah, but somebody ran up on this fucking guy, shot his ass, oh, shit. and made off with two of three of her French bulldogs. Holy shit! Yeah, dude, fucking lady. Gaga. I don't think my parents would put up fucking 20 bucks no. for me <laughs> <laughs> like 500 g bro yeah. that's some rich people problems oh right there oh my god Shit. for a fucking dog if that happened to me i'd be like well i'm gonna buy a new dog i guess yeah i know no, yeah. fucking I nobody gives a out. fuck about my dog nah i don't know man when you got the money do you do some crazy shit man i don't know i don't know if somebody stole my dog I would John Wick some motherfuckers, dude. I would find You'd them. like to think so, but then you're like, after like two hours of like Instagram searching or like tracing your steps or something like that and like knocking on people's doors and be like, do your ring doorbell get any footy? Right. And they're like, no. You'd be like, well, I guess fucking pork chop is gone, Yo, bro. I'd find my dog. Just like today when that dog ran up on me, I, I would want somebody to stop and grab my dog and try to get him home. You think you could That's find your I dog did. if somebody stole him? I would try. See, because I can't find some shit. I saw a I video of this dude. House. I saw a video of a guy steal a pit bull puppy out of somebody's front yard oh, that on, on yeah. North Side. Like that, last year. and that's yeah. fuck, that's fucked up specifically because. Pit bulls, they use them in dog fighting and right, shit. Right, they use them as like bait dogs and shit. We mm. talked about that, I think, on one of the other pods. Yeah, <laughs> my uh, my old dog uh, Marley, who we had to get rid of, she was used for a fight. She was a bait or not a bait dog? I think a bait dog is what they call it. Where basically they duct tape their mouth shut and they throw them in a pit with a bunch of like mean fucking dogs to. To basically, and they do that in the beginning stages of their life to instill fight, fight or flight mode. Yeah, I can't do that shit either. I don't like animals, but I'm not down with that shit. And, and shit and is it, evil. Yeah, it's very, it's very, evil. very evil. Um, but that's our, how you get John Wicked in my world. Son. Our our dog Marley was a was a fight dog. We think because uh, she had all the scars and the Dude, dog nice. trainer that was training her was like. You know, these scars in in these specific places would indicate that she was used for 
like a bait dog or Dude, a that's crazy. dog. How do you feel about Michael Vick? Ah. What's your stance on that guy? Cause he, he fucking dude, didn't, he, he did some, didn't he nail he did dogs to shit. trees and shit? He know, would man. hang them up on fences and he would electrocute them and stuff. Dude, I don't think I don't know, man. That's that's all super heavy stuff. <sighs> but now he has a job in the NFL. I don't that's know. That's fucked up. He should not have a fucking job anywhere. The argument is he went to jail. Paid his debt to society in that way. I think if you're going to be mad at anybody, you're going to be mad at the justice system for not penalizing him enough. If you really feel that deeply about animals and stuff right. and like what he did, because it's not his fault that what he did was a crime and he did serve his time and get out. Like, like so he's like, and it, I'm just looking at it from his shoes. Is like, what more can I do? You know? And he donates to animal the, cruelty things he does. or whatever. And like, of course you're gonna do that. But does he famous. do that for the fucking optics? Exactly. Yeah, probably. Exactly. But but what he you doesn't really do, give man? a fuck. I don't think it's really his fault that the that the system isn't harsh enough for those crimes. You know what I mean? And there's some people that don't give a fuck, dude. They're just like. Back. They're like, whatever, like, the guy went to jail for that, you know? And then there's other people that are like, that guy should be fucking dead, you know? Um, so I'm kind of, I kind of, I respect him as an athlete. He's an amazing dude in that respect. But I don't think you should be employed by the NFL after you do some brutal yeah. shit like it's that. It's super tough, man, or, because or even involved that, in that just shows your character as a human being. Like, you yeah. just are it's tough, not though, a man. compassionate person. It's tough, though, mm-hmm. because, like, it's like saying, like, I don't know, man. There, uh, there's a lot of horrible things that happen. But, like, say, like, a mom from MAD, right? Like, Mothers Against Drunk Driving right. or whatever. If they had a kid that passed away from a drunk driver, they're probably going to feel a very certain way about you if something like that happened to you. And say you spent, you know, 15 to 20 years in prison, you know, and you got out and you were like, I'm fucking deeply fucking sorry for this. I'm like, I, I like, there's nothing more I can do, you know, and you're truly sorry. Is it fair at that point to be like, you know what? This guy shouldn't be able to work at a fucking, you know, wherever this, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to even get into it really, but I totally get what you're saying. But like, but that guy's the difference in killing a human versus torturing and killing animals in terms of sentencing is so vast. See, but, but that's you, but that's the problem. It, if you think that is, about it, that's a huge problem. I think you, that should be nearly equal, in my opinion. If you think about it, though, somebody who is willing to torture an animal is a hair away from doing that to another person. Agreed. Maybe that's, that's how I view it. But look at it this way: like, there's people that are like killing things like that aren't animals. Where do you draw the line? You know what I mean? Like, if you're, I don't know, if you're a farmer. You know what I mean? And I mean, there are necessary killings. In ter- if you're a farmer, ask ask the, if an, the an, fox if an animal that's is getting suffering, shot. You know right, what I mean? Right. I don't necessarily agree with that. I mean, but it's a necessary thing for for, for him economic to be purposes. able to make money yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So Absolutely. it's a very fine line you walk, you know. But yeah. I don't know. That's I think why that farmers like, in Texas they pay motherfuckers to come on their land and shoot wild boars, for sure. Which I would love to do. Seth, see, wants and that's me crazy to do that because so like bad. you feel really strongly about the whole Michael Vick thing, but at the same time, you'd be willing to shoot wild boars. Well, you know they what I mean? are They are destroying ecosystems because they're not meant to be there. But it's They alive. were brought there by the standard. You, you, it depends on who you talk to. And I'm not... I don't really have a I guess really there's, strong stance I, one way or no, the other. No, you're right, though. I mean, but there is definitely a, a human bias because there's dogs people out there over that, a fucking boar. There's people... You know? Yeah, but, like, where's the line? Like, because people are going to be like, oh, it's okay to kill a right. cat, but not a dog. See, but for right. me, hunting and using meat is not controversial. But are they going to use the meat? Because there is a podcast Some with Joe do. Rogan saying that they're killing wild like boars Tim from Kennedy. a hel- helicopter. And, and they some just of them don't you, to, yeah. like, you know, just be, whatever. Yeah. But Joe argued that there is good meat, and I, that's what I've heard as but well. But they weren't from other using people. them, you know what I mean? They're yeah, going out there people. for just for fun. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just fucking crazy. There's a million things you can argue back and forth, like is it ethical and all that kind of stuff. And I, I think if you there, I think if there's an overpopulation, I just have no interest. I don't think I'm sorry. No, sorry. I don't think it's you. a. I don't think it's. It's not like a. I just don't have an interest. I don't necessarily think it's right or wrong. I just don't have an interest because. 
I guess most of the time hunting happens, especially for like certain animals, it's in the fucking cold. Yeah. You know, and I'm not willing to bury myself in the fucking snow and like all that stuff. Like, I don't know. It's just not big interest. I mean, if I had to, I would, but for sport, not for me. Yeah. I want to eat them shits. I, I wonder what it, what a boar would taste like. Um, I've had wild boar. I think it'd be boring. I think we get some we, in, in we, Denver. We looked it up one time, didn't we? Uh, well, wild, if you can eat wild boar, you, I've had it. Didn't you, you look it up? Anything. You can have it in Denver. Biker you, gyms. Yeah, you can eat, you can eat wild They got it it's for like, like a hot would dog not, Why would they not eat it? Cause some of them are old and the meat is just like gross because they're old. Oh. You want to get a specific like age range, age range. Okay. and what size. If, what, so what if you just kill one that's not, you just toss it? Well, the thing is when they're out there killing them, you want to kill as many as possible because they're so invasive they destroy ecosystems because they're not meant to be in that ecosystem. They were brought there. They were I just imported. Don't. Why were they brought there? The Spaniards. I just don't know. I, I, I'm pretty animals, sure they came man. from Spain. Huh. They were brought here a long, long time ago, and over the years, they've just become wow. killers of, of ecosystems and other wildlife. How do we go from Lady Gaga to wild boars? <laughs> Talking about killing animals. <laughs> And hurting animals. Yeah. Hurting animals, yeah. No, it's terrible. Really. Hurting animals is, is terrible. I think anybody that's willing to hurt, mm. in, unless you're hunting or use, or it's, unless it's for game or for food. Game and th- food is the same. Because a lot of those dudes that put those trophy heads up in their fucking they're house, also they're also the eating too. that meat. Unless you're eating the meat. And those, those deaths reason. are often very humane. Mm. In a lot of ways. Like, whereas the meat that you might eat from the supermarket, that shit, those animals are tortured from birth. Yeah. That's horrible. I don't like watching stuff. Like yeah, that shit's horrible. That's why me and Lacey we went talk? vegan for a minute, and I'm, yeah, I'm talk, not anymore. Let's talk about something not yeah, so dude, dark and Meat is so good. <laughs> meat is so good. It's so good. Especially with no steak sauce on it. Dude, steak sauce is the <laughs> best. Dude, A1, or not A1, uh... Heinz 57 or whatever it is, that shit is the good. That's what my stepmom likes. That's it's the best. If you were going to quit your job today, what would you tell your employer? Ha, you know, the funny story about that is I just got canned. Ooh. Lace told today? me about that, bro. Yeah, man. Today? Wednesday. Oh, shit. Yeah. But it was time. It's time for a change, oh, man. Was it just can... laid off or... Oh, no, we we up? had a knockdown drag out, me and my dad. No, it wasn't that bad. Everything's cool. It was just time, you know? So... Right now, I'm living off the government. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. yeah. That's a height. You know, last oh, yeah. time you were helping me with my furnace, you were, you were, I could just tell that you just, like, oh, dude. hated doing it. Oh, dude, things just run their course. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all good. But I'll tell you right now, for every negative, there's a positive or whatever Always. they say. You know what I mean? And I'm just trying to look at it that way. So I love being here with you guys and having fun. And yeah, this is fun. We love having you. But I You're would say, guess. too... What, did you, what was his question? He asked, if he you said, quit your job today, oh, what would yeah, you yeah. tell your employer? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know about telling my employer anything, but if you quit your job today, like, I don't know. What man. would you do? Yeah, like, like what do you want to do, man? What do I want to do? Yeah. If money was no object, what would you want to do? If I had a better body, I would gee, a thunder from down under. <laughs> I, wanna, I would write. Write what? A novel. Maybe books. You can or do that now. Screenplays. Huh? Really? Yeah. You Dude, I would have right never now. ever guessed that. Really? Like in a million years. I'd Dude, love to write. I, I actually write not to uh, one up you or anything like that, but I, I did. I wrote a. Uh, You're totally one. The one about Alaska. Right the one about Alaska. Yeah. I wrote I wrote a fucking. You know what? Uh, that was screenplay. actually that's a actually a really <clears throat> good story. I and think. and I was getting a little help from Kyle the other day, my friend Kyle. Are you still working on it? Uh, no, but is he it was, not a finished but, product? What is it? What it, is it? It's a basically story? it's a story about this this kid in college who goes out into the wilderness, and he's looking for a specific type of plant, and he ends up getting lost out in the wilderness, and it's just about him getting fucking lost in, in the forest of because the forest in Alaska is just so vast and fucking there's so much there's so much forest out there. And the, and originally, what I was thinking is that there was, because um, 
there's a thing called the Alaskan Triangle. You know, they're bem- yeah, they're, where they're, shit gets lost, they're right? Bem- they're Bermuda yeah. Triangle, but there's also an Alaskan Triangle. So my idea was to like, write a story about uh, kind of like this kid that happens to live in Alaska. He's going out of college out there. And he goes out to find that he's a bot. He's going to school to be a botanist or whatever. He goes out to find this plant and fucking gets lost and ends up uh, eating like berries and shit and trying to stay alive. He's trying to stay alive, you know, trying not to starve. And, uh, and there's a certain point where he eats some mushrooms that he finds and it, Oh, here we go. Now the story's starting. Starts, starting, uh, starting. Tripping in the forest and uh, I'm it still in the process. I don't, like I don't, don't want to give too much away because I'm still in the process of writing it. But it sounds like the plot of Trolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene in Tenacious D. Yeah. No, man, that's cool. Like, I just don't have. What any, would you? I don't have any passions, dude. Like, that's the problem. You know what I mean? I think, like, fi- trying to locate a passion, like, if I could just get, like, a little bit, I would go for it. Yeah. I think as you get older, your, mo- your your focus is so much about paying bills and making money and stuff like that that you just lose focus on, like, who you are and what you want to be. And uh, I don't know. It's just fucking you just lose yourself a little bit. So now is that time to kind of, like, rekindle that fire a little bit. Hey, how are the abs doing? To one us. Good guys. <laughs> Take it. Get it. <clears throat> Get a live score on them abs. We need to get you a mic, man. Our sound guy, Mr. Velvet, needs a mic. Needs to put a shirt on, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, man. Yeah, I don't know. Who the hell knows? This is fun, though. Yeah, man. This is fun. We, we love... We do you guys cooking. ever do an episode talking about, like, why you're doing this? Or, like... You know, I don't think we've explained at all why we do a podcast i don't know why we do anyway i th- i feel like just kind of happen huh? we both have interesting thoughts and we both like to talk and tell stories and talk to people who have stories you yeah know, i think that's all, what it's all about yeah hell you know yeah what i mean um everything that you do in life is an experience facts you know what i mean and it's good, it's good to have good experiences with good people you know, good conversations, and why not fucking record it for the record? So you all, so it's there forever. No man, yeah. it's super fun, and sometimes it, it gives people a different point of view, and it can actually help. I know sometimes I listen to podcasts and like, like uh, whether it's like p- politics or like I don't know other things. Like sometimes it does give you that other side of the story. Oh you yeah. Know? And I always wonder about that. You know, like why does this person think that? And then you think, you know, you hear it, and you're like, go. Cool. Or maybe you're thinking about something that you know maybe gets brought up and it's kind of nice to get another person's perspective on things okay guys you know I, mean? I think that's what's so beautiful about stand-up comedy and why oh, it's the stand-up best. comedians the have best. the best podcasts oh yeah For because sure. they're able to see things in such a different way than the mass collective of people and they're so good at articulating and presenting what that thought is well i oh, think yeah. that mm-hmm. I think that is a big part of it, and I think it's not being scared about, like, uh, tackling some uh, topics that That are really sensitive. Yeah, for sure. And, like, your listeners need to understand that, like, dude, you're just talking about this stuff as, like, a normal human being, and that's what makes makes podcasts so, like, cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So with that on the mind, let's talk about this whole gender... What is it? Gender, gender V? Ne- gender who, neutral? Who knows what it is? I gender V thing? Gender V. What is that? I'd is like that to preface it, by is saying... Is that what it is? For I, got, I got plenty of trans friends and I'm cool with it. Do do you? Dude, I could give a fuck do less you. what you call yourself or what you like want to be. Like That's cool. But... I don't think a dude should be in women's sports, though. Yeah, see, yeah. then you're starting to cross the yeah. barrier there. You know what that's I mean? A, you know? That's a big one for me. And I... I'm not really vocal on it, like, with, like, people I don't know. Like, I, think I, I have trans friends, and I don't talk about it with them because I don't really want to stoke a, fly, a fire. That's what, but that's, but, but that's, what's, that's what's fucked up is that I feel like you can't say things anymore without people arise, getting a, a rise out of somebody. No, you definitely got to be careful about what you say and how you say it or whatever, but... Full disclosure, everybody in this room right now does not have a hateful bone in their body right. for anybody that's like, right. you know, of any 
fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like, Back. we don't. Gi- I don't give a fuck. Like, honestly, I just think it's crazy. Some African because- lady the other day did tell me that I hate black people. Though. See, no, it, like, why? I parked my dude. I was trying to service a smoker friendly right next to this African clothing store, and there was a car parking uh, blocking where I would normally park. So I had to park in front of her shop. And she, like, came out with her phone videotaping me, telling me that I hate black people and I'm parking in front of her store and ruining her business because I hate black people. It's super right. tough because it's kind of a topic that does stoke the fire for me because on the other side of the coin, like, I'm obviously not African-American from the waist duh. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's totally not true. Everybody knows. But... Like, uh, I'm on the opposite, uh, opposite side of the coin where it's, like, it's annoying, dude. You know what I mean? Like, like completely not racist. I don't give a shit, dude. Like, everybody's just people, whatever, whatever. But, like, I'm like, dude, if I cut you off in traffic because I needed to get that over and you weren't, let me, you weren't letting me over, it doesn't make me a racist. Yeah, it it, I didn't racist cut you off all. because you're a whatever. You know what I mean? It's true. And, like, that's the first thing people are going to now. You know what I mean? Ah, it's just fucking... It shit gets a little bit I, old, but You know, I had this thought the other day where I was listening to a rap song, and in the rap song they said, fuck the cops. And in my head I was thinking, you couldn't, you couldn't do that now without dividing your, your, uh, your, your demographic. You know what I mean? Like, if, say if I was a rap artist... And I said, fuck the cops. I thought you were. I feel like <laughs> I feel like that automatically puts you on a certain side of things. You know what I mean? As, well, I mean, as we're back in the day. As you, much as I respect cops, also fuck cops. Eh, it just depends. Man. I, I, would say, I would I say five, I've had even, bad experience with even police, Even a couple too. years ago, if you were to say fuck the cops, you just, you just say fuck the cops. It doesn't mean that you're like on a specific... Your left or your right, you know what I mean. Every, I feel like everything is so political nowadays. It's team sports. Yeah, I don't know. It's like I, team sports. I feel like everything is very political, and I don't like. I don't like how things are so political and, and divided. You know what I mean? I think. I don't know. Differences are what brings us together. We're we're more alike than we are different yeah and people spend so much time on being divided and you know oh you believe in this i believe in that so i'm not going to associate with you when in reality if you know if you just were to hear that person's thought out and just meet them at where they're at i don't know i think but the other party has to be willing to also meet at that halfway sure. spot. Oh, know? absolutely, sure, sure. It's a, it's a two way street. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I think our our differences are, are is what brings us together. Did you know that you can get a lifetime Twitter ban for dead naming Caitlyn Jenner? What? If you if you refer to her as Bruce Jenner, you can get a lifetime ban on Twitter. What? It's called dead naming. Dead naming? Mm-hmm. But what if you're talking about the Olympian Bruce Jenner, who's in the history books as Bruce yeah. Jenner? Yeah. What are you just erasing his history? I just don't. I don't understand that part. Yeah. I don't well, like I either. heard also that Little House on the Prairie was being mm-hmm. removed from like an influential list of like literature or some shit because of the racial undertones and the language use. But it was written in the 20s or some shit about life in the 1870s or some shit. Yeah. It's like that's what it was Yeah, back in those times. Like you Definitely. can't you can't erase things like that. Yes, it's bad. I agree. That language is horrible and it should not be used in a modern society. But we also need to recognize that that existed in history. I feel like I'm catching on here. The one thing that I got to say that is kind of weird is like uh, when they change the name of like Uncle Ben's. Right. And stuff like that. Aunt Jemima. Yeah, dude. And like, I was like, I never once when I went to the grocery store thought that was like racial. 
Never. Me either, right. son. I never I always did. really, I have an Uncle Ben who's white. And I always was like, my Uncle Ben, oh, oh. I yeah, never I was know. like, that's a black guy. People are super sensitive. You know how they do like, uh, I, they just changed Mr. Potato Head to just Potato Head. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, ah, dude, man, like, where do you draw the line? Like, I don't know. It's cool. I get it. Like, like we were just I, talking I'm, about babies. Oh, okay. No, I'm with it, though. Like, I'm with, like, you know, making things cool for everybody or whatever. But, like, at a certain point, like, shit. Like, everybody's getting a little bit soft. And, like, nobody can take a joke no more. You know what I mean? Like, right. like uh, we were talking earlier. This Everybody's just such a pussy. Yeah, dude. Things. Like, like uh, Eddie Murphy's, like, Raw or, like, any of those old old school stand-ups. Like, even Could George Carlin and stuff. They, dude, dude, you couldn't make that now. Dude, nobody even would, like nobody shows like The Office for sure that are not even really that old. Yeah, but the shit that they covered topic wise in that show, yeah, they would not be able to pull off in modern TV. Dude, it's just a shame. And then you feel weird about liking stuff like that. You know what right. I mean? I don't know. It's whatever though. Like, psh, it's I don't know. I think about my kid and like how the world's gonna change by the right. time he's what my age. What the world's age. gonna be like. I yeah. think about that every like, day. Fuck, dude. is it gonna get better? Is it is it gonna get worse? Is there gonna be aliens or what was that? Oh shit. Okay. We're we are under the house, by ah. the way. We're literally under a house. So that we're was gonna the hear, plumbing. We're gonna hear some plumbing from time to time. And maybe some footsteps and dog barks. Or maybe some ghosts. Yeah. There is a There's we a talked about here. in the last yeah. episode, yeah. There's a ghost here, man. I haven't witnessed it myself, but I don't know. I don't know. It might be. I haven't witnessed one here. If I see a fucking ghost, dude, I'm out. I'm 100, shooting. dude. I'm gonna shoot at it. Yeah, you do that. You're gonna be my. Uh, you're gonna be my. My bodyguard, my Rambo. Hey, how hey. was that? Was it nice? Hey, Christian had to go take a shit. Dude, that yeah. felt great. Dude, I shit I straight fa- out of my my pee hole. Oh, nice. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you should probably have that looked at, brother. I don't know, man. What else is happening in the world? Dude, there's crazy? crazy shit happening in the world. Joe Biden just bombed Syria and shit. See, dude. And uh, we're pointing the finger at Saudi Arabia for Jamal Khashoggi's murder from a dude, couple years ago. I feel ago. like that's like a rap crime. Like, I don't well, know who that guy is, what, and it feels like he was just a, killed Swali. He was a journalist who was notoriously anti-Saudi Arabia. He was a Saudi Arabian uh, citizen, but yeah. he was notoriously anti Saudi government, and they fucking killed the guy. Um, Why'd they kill him? Just because he was talking shit? Because he was talking yeah, shit. They've been known to do that for years and years and years, but we look past it oh, as a country. Dude. Oh, my God. We look past it as a country because of our relationship with them and our oil. Man, there's so much get. shit going on with the government that we don't know about, and they just deliver the message the way that they want you to see it to be, like, like fucking palatable. Aliens. Dude, don't like fucking aliens. Okay, like so if aliens. you guys if you guys want to go into this, we can go into this. I didn't want to have to like do this, but Let's we peel can it. do this. <laughs> peel these fucking onions. Okay, so um, everybody's familiar with Joe Rogan's podcast. It's a fucking awesome podcast. Who's I've Joe ever Rogan? heard of it? I've never. Oh, heard he's of this it. lesbian that <laughs> has a wiener. <laughs> <laughs> no, he good, uh, good description. <laughs> yeah, um, and he does MMA. No, but uh, and DMT, yes, yeah, and does MMA DMT. LSD, he works with PVC. PVC. <laughs> no, um. So, anyways, the dude I forget his name. He's a fucking weirdo, but he does. Um, he interviewed him, and he's from the movie uh, Fire in the Sky. Mm-hmm. You know, yep, I listened to that episode. That fucking guy about. is a liar. I don't really? give a fuck, dude. No, I'm not. Did you look into his story after you heard the episode? I looked into it, and it's kind of uh, it's tough because everything matches up with what he said, right? Mm-hmm. Whether it be the lie detector test and the timeline and Who the people he's about? with and stuff. This What's dude, this fucking guy's name? I forget his name. I'll look find it out. Up. Hold up. But anyway, he made a movie, and it's called Fire in the Sky. And it, he was abducted by aliens, supposedly, right? But anyways, his story... If you were to read it, you would be like, okay, maybe this guy was abducted by aliens. But then in the interview, he was talking like, I don't know. Here, Put it this way. If you, 
I'm just going to ask Travis you. Walton? Yeah, he's a fucking weirdo. Travis Walton. But if you were kidnapped, right? Yeah. If you were kidnapped and you weren't blindfolded or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, say maybe they knocked you out, right? You were somewhere, they knocked you out, you woke up, right? And, like, you survived, you came out of it, like, everybody's talking to you about it, like, oh, you were kidnapped, like, whatever. How would you describe your kidnapper? Like, or what would you do if somebody said, what happened? You would probably describe the person that fucking kidnapped you first and foremost, right? You'd be like, it was this big ass dude. He looked like Andre the Giant. You know, he fingered my booty hole, like whatever, <laughs> whatever happened, right? You okay. would, that, I mean, you would give some specifics there. Yeah. This fucking guy was like, I woke up on a table. I was looking at a light. And then, like, it took, like, Joe Rogan to be like, well, did you see the aliens? And see, he's like, yes, I did. Did you see Joe like, Rogan's fuck. interview with Bob Laz- Lazar? Bob Lazar, Lazar. yeah. Lazar. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I think that guy. He's legit. In, in my, uh, in you don't my, think so? In, in my opinion, I think he's full of shit. Really? The only reason I say really? that. The only reason I say that is because when he's talking, when Joe Rogan's talking to him, there's certain questions that he'll ask him. Yeah. And he goes, oh. I have a migraine. I have a migraine. I have a No, headache. yeah, no, I get that. I can see that. And he says it's the government that puts something in his brain to where whenever he tries to remember it, he gets a headache. I don't know. I listened to that whole interview, and I didn't hear anything about that. But I can see how, like, any time, like, those stories come out about aliens and shit like that, people are like, you, you find that one thing that you're like, this guy's full of shit. Because we're all looking for the you're full of shit yeah. moment yeah. instead of being like, we're looking for like, oh, dude, this guy's telling the truth. So That's true. I don't know. That's true. Bottom but- line is these dudes that say that they've been ab- abducted by aliens, at least those two. Or no, Bob Lazar was never abducted, but he worked on like a like a Spacecraft. Pla- yeah, stuff. exactly. Like, I don't know, man. Like, you just get this feeling off of certain people. Do you think the government would have such a thing, though, that would be able to, like, like you know, like like Men in Black where they fucking flash your memory? I don't know what you, they're capable of, You dude. can't You can't remember anything after maybe, that? Maybe. Maybe. And they would have no reason to let you or me know about it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Because like, there'd be no reason to. Yeah, fuck Unless yeah. Unless we're getting and flashed, I, we had no reason to And to know. be honest with you, I think they probably could use that on presidents. They can do, like, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm For crazy. Sure. People say I'm crazy, but like I think like a uh, world go- uh, like wor- new world order is real. Like I think like I think it's like there's divisions of labor with like okay, you control America, you control Europe, you control whatever, but we're all together and this is what I want you to do. Right. And I don't know if that has alien background or not. We're trying to be part of the Galactic Federation. Maybe. <laughs> to be honest with you, dude, like I think mean about, we talked about that before. Like the show Futurama. It's mm-hmm. It's Earth. It's not. They're called Earthicans. Yeah, for right? sure. Straight up. And like, I can see that happening for real. Why they don't let us in on the mix? I don't know. I mean, honestly, I mean, fuck, dude. I know people that would be like, "There's aliens. I'm gonna fucking go crazy," you know. And I think right. that's most of the world, you know. I think. I think if the vast majority of people saw an alien craft. They would Dude, flip the fuck, fuck out. I would. I am I would sitting here every, how every, to get on it. Every person who owns guns, like I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get my gun and I'm gonna fucking shoot it. You know what I mean? I, I don't. I don't think there. I think if there were a glass. Do you, you think an AR-15 would do anything it, against it, an it, alien? Fuck no. Them not coming down. It's like Independence Day, dude. Right. They have that force field. You're just fucking emptying them, clips and they're just not like, coming cool, down pointless. because <laughs> they're they know that we're not ready. Don't do that. We're not ready to handle it. I don't know, man. I think that that's I don't think a you're good ever. Are you ever ready to handle it? You know, it's what like I mean? having a kid. Yeah, you're never ready to handle it. You just, just fucking happens. do it. You know, shit happens. Shit. You just fucking do it. I wasn't ready to have a kid. That shit fucking was like, dude. Honestly, for like nine hundred. The listener has no idea what just transpired. It was just dead air for a second. That's all but right. But us three know. That's yeah, we, right. cut, out, we cut out for know. a minute. Wow. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, man. Holy moly. Yep. Whoo. 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 Cheers. Cheers to that. Crazy. I don't have a beer, but yeah. Yeah, well, Maybe. you know. Do you want one? one? Yeah, let me grab one. 
Sorry, guys. That was uh, Chris. Where's the marinara? Um, it's over. Anyways, there. so yeah, what were you saying? Dude, I don't even. Remember. You're not ready to have a kid until you just fucking do it. I, oh no, yo, that's straight up. My truth. first kid was born when I was 21. I don't know. That's pretty young. My parents. So no were, way, I was. My ready. parents were about 20. No. Nin- 19, actually. I was 30. When, when, they had, when they had Lacey. Yeah, when your sister was born, yeah. they were like 18, 19. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Whenever you have a kid, it doesn't matter, dude. You could be like old as fuck, never had a kid, and then you're not ready. You know what I mean? Like you think you are, but you're not. I think maybe there's a little bit of obviously benefits if you're a responsible human being and you built like a little bit of like a savings account and all that kind of shit when you're older. Sure. But, like, dude, you're not ever ready for your first kid. You don't know what the fuck you're in for. And it is special, but it is rough. It's I'm not going to fucking rough, I'm bro. not gonna lie to you. It's fucking rough. Even now, like, my kid's two going on three. There's some, like, shit that you're just like, dude, this is so fun. But then there's times where you're just bro. like, I understand why they make those don't shake a baby commercials. Yeah. I understand. Like you're you just get like, to the point where you're just like, oh, bro, I have a nine-year-old son, and it doesn't get better. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> See, it gets better in certain ways, but then it gets worse in other ways. Yo, you know? the kid they got start a to mouth, get a little bit of an attitude. The kid yeah. got a fucking mouth on him, and he has to argue everything. Man, that, that's I when you're one, like... One thing I noticed the other day was that he, he, has the, he has the same quality that I carry, which is that I question everything. Literally everything. Everything. Yeah. Literally like, everything. If, if you if you wrote it if you if you were reading it to me out of a fact book, I'm gonna go. Well, what about? Hold on. And where, you know what? No disrespect where, to you. Where do you get the that fact book? That scares me. I don't want the. I don't want him to be that way. I'm telling. I mean, there's a good. I, I will there's say, definitely good you, things. To you it. ask questions too, though. You always, there's a good part you, to it. You and I get along a lot of the time because you and I both ask a lot of the same questions. That's which, true. Which is like why? You know what I mean? Or like try to. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, we, my dad. Would it's call, good to my, be defiant. My dad in a way. would call it justifying. But I like to. Just, I like to debate. I like to debate too, and I like to. But argue. like, but like, uh, if I have a question about what you're saying, I'll just like nod in agreement. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, and then like, dude, then I'll get this weird like Facebook invite for like a like a like a weird party or something because they're like, what? oh, he didn't disagree with it. I don't that. have Facebook. Say but. that say that again. I missed that. I'm sorry. So I'm like debating is one thing, right? But if somebody says something that you're like, I don't know if that's true. Right. You guys like to be like, I don't know if that's true. You know, explain to me why and I need to know why or whatever. Right, 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 right. I'm just like in my mind, I'm like, I don't know if that's true. I'll call somebody out. I, 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 but you don't, but but you don't care to you don't care to correct them. No, but sometimes it gets me into like weird shit. predicaments, you know what I mean? Because it'll be like, oh, we were talking about this weird ass topic, but this guy didn't say anything. And like, it's like, um, I don't know, like something really taboo or something. Right. That's how like, I got on the Church of Satan Facebook group. S- shit like that, you know? Kidding. And you're like, <laughs> I joined on, on purpose. Oh, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I joined Church, on purpose. Church of Satan, nice. Fuck me, right? <laughs> Hell, Satan. <laughs> All Just right. kidding. All I don't right. know. Okay. I, don't know I will. I don't, you told me. I, I don't know what that means. Yeah, have you seen? There's a documentary about Satanism on, uh, I think it's on Hulu. You know, Dude, Satan's, I can't watch that because it's I'm scared hilarious. of the Satanism devil. Satanism as, as a religion, I don't think is a bad It's not a religion thing. necessarily. It's kind of it's religion. It's a religion. Mm, kind of, It's a religion. Yeah. Just like Christianity is a religion. It's Yeah, but Satanism was invented in by... The, they have a Bible. Anton it's, LaVey. It's a religion. Uh, but now, it was written by Anton LaVey in the 60s. Now things well, are the getting Bible a little was, wild. The Bible was written by a, a guy. If that no, it was written by ago. lots of guys. Mike's, lots of guys. And Mike's taking... He's taking a time out from this. <laughs> It's too heavy. <laughs> it's way too heavy, and I well, don't want the devil. You know to what, though, if you do, me. if you read into Satanism a little bit, it's really, it's really moral based. To be honest with you, like if you read the Church of Satan Bible, this sounds a, like something the devil would say. You know, <laughs> you know, I, I will say, and I'm should, not. It's I'm, actually I'm pretty never, good. It tastes pretty good. Just I've drink always it. Been, I've yeah, always been interested it. by different religions throughout the world. So. I'm, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, I get I'm that. never one to push religion on anybody. And I wasn't religious until I actually saw that door uh, that we were talking about 
last Dude, time. Uh, a ghost will change your life, bro. We were talking about that door that that closed and and opened, or it was just closed. I'm sorry, it we, it was closed. I thought it opened and it opened. Um, until I saw that shit, I did not. I didn't believe in ghosts, and I didn't believe like in God. And the reason that I believe in God now because some is shit be, hit is because you. that I realized that oh shit, there is things out there that. We can't fucking see, dude, and we can't even we can't even perceive. I'm with you. So, you oh, know what's oh, fucking? I got alarms going off. What's shit. super gnarly about like ghosts and stuff like that is like, <laughs> don't you feel like weird doing things that you probably shouldn't be doing? Yeah, because I mean? a ghost is watching you, or like, yeah, exactly, like beaten not, off, not, dude. Not not a ghost, you know, but like somebody you know. You know, mm-hmm. you're like, like your grandma, like your grandma. Yeah, exactly. You're like, you're jacking fuck. off. You're jacking off, and your fucking grandma's just like, yeah, you know, exactly. I, dis- I disapprove. Yeah, you know no. What? And it's I'd not like just think like that. If my grandma was following me and saw me start beating off, she'd leave the room. And it's not <laughs> yeah. like like well, that's regular I, shit though. You I, know what I mean? Like you know, your grandma and grandpa could probably understand. Like, oh, okay, like regular but, shit. I but think, like. Like, I talked to my cousin, and he's like, dude, regular porn just doesn't do it for me anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? He's all, dude, I'm into granny porn, what? midget porn, Homie, freaking real? all this. I, I will he's say, like, dude, that cousin I will say, have yeah, you? no, Derek, he, he, oh, I blurt w- that out. <laughs> I will but say, he, uh, you gotta find that Derek in there and beep it. <laughs> oh, now you gotta do it too fast. Have you ever <laughs> no, actually, just leave it. Fuck it. <laughs> have, you, have you ever watched midget porn, though? No. I have no. out of curiosity. I have too. I didn't beat it to it, but I did watch it I to see what's up. I was just curious. I was just curious. I wanted to be like, you know, like, well, it's just there, it's just too circusy for it, me, dude. It gets super circusy, and it's always <laughs> it's you know? always it's always it's some, like bearded lady it's always shit. Some fucking you know, action. like that's a lady, but she's got some mad face pubes. Yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, no, but I mean, fuck, dude. Like, if you jerk off that much, like. I told him straight up, I'm like, bro, you probably need to take a break. Yeah, for you, you probably need, a need to take a break. break, homie. Yeah, because I'm like, he's all, dude, just regular shit just doesn't do for me anymore. But that's the fucking, that's the, it's so funny because like with like a comedic like uh, like mindset, that is fucking hilarious to me. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. I got Chris trying to signal me. Yeah, no. I was, <laughs> He's trying I was to like, give me oh, his signal. Is this Mortar's code? Or he's <laughs> like, like, I'm going to give fuck? you a hand just, job in the just, bathroom right I was now? Trying, like, I was trying to... Ch- trying to Try to silently see it. Try, la, la, la. Say words to, I was to trying, today, Junior. I was trying to silently say that we uh, are at about an hour and 13 minutes. Wow. Damn, already? I, yeah, moly. I just like to keep tabs on the, on the time. To I mean, that's you? responsible, Chris. That's not bad. That's not bad. Then. I don't want to keep it going for too long, just because. How long well, was the last step? It was like fifty-seven or some shit. It was about an hour. Two fourteen. Yeah. God. Who's that? Dang. Silk Velvet. Mister S- Velvet. Mister Velvet in the house. Hey, hey put your hey. shirt on. Hey. Woo! I want, ow, ow. I want everybody to believe that his shirt is off every time. <laughs> <laughs> for anybody who's listening, Mister Velvet's shirt is always off. Yeah. He wears leather pants. Baby yep. oils. Oh, yeah. Feather dusters. Yeah. Ball gags. That's why you can barely <laughs> <Ball> hear him. <laughs> Jesus. Well, well, thank you for, again for coming for a second yeah, episode. Dude. Oh, Mike. that's it? You're a great guest. That's it? Well, yeah. It was, we try to keep him around we an to hour. We keep him around an hour. Oh, man. Well, we don't go Joe I, Rogan with it. And I got four a lot more fucking to say. Hours. Well, shit. I'm just kidding. We'll have you back for a third episode. <laughs> yeah, dude. We're always we're always down for a, uh, another episode. All right, man. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, dude. Of All course. Right. Have a good night, everybody.